got some meat birds. We went and bought 30 of them. They were on sale and I couldn't pass it up, guys. I am a sucker for a cheap meat bird. I'll tell you that right now. So we just got them sitting in the brooder. And before you know it, these things are gonna be off and running. So this is week one of raising meat birds. There's a turkey down there. Let's see if I can call this thing in. I'm wearing a bright red shirt, so I doubt I can. My turkey call sucks. What's going on guys? Man, it is hotter than the dickens out right now. Whew. Just got home from work, checked on our meat birds. Man, we're hatching babies like crazy right now. We got, I mean, I've lost count how many chicks we got. I think I had about 20, 20 eggs, in the, eggs in the brooder and I think we probably got 10 birds right now, 10 chicks right now. Uh, down there in the brooder down there for the meat birds, we went and bought 30, 30 of them bad boys. We're gonna raise them up. So I'm gonna be doing a, um, kind of a week by week raising meat birds uh series um so we'll just go from there this is week one those things are looking pretty healthy I haven't lost any yet and i think we're on like day three of having them so and then uh these ones that i got going right now in my incubator i'm gonna call those my yard birds so they're kind of mutts they're mutts in uh, Rhode Island Reds, Americana, Sex Links, Ocelorps, Cinnamon Queens. They're all over the place. So they are going to run my property free ranged laying hens. Uh, man, on my property right now, I probably got upwards of 60 birds on my property right now, if not more. But they are going to roam all that. Because ticks this year are absolutely horrible, guys. Horrible. You're not going to believe how many ticks I've had on me and where I've had them. Let's just say I had one on underneath my, my belly here because I got that Dunlap syndrome. And then I found one in my belly button. Oh, God. I got him out. He was last on, but I got him out. But I need some tick control. And I sure as heck ain't getting no guineas. So that's what's going on with week one with meat birds. And I'll give you a little bit update on the chicks in the incubator and how they turn out. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. What in the heel globin's going on here? You just don't look right. No, oh jeez, Louise, you just scaring me. Mm, man, you just something wrong with you. Mm, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you smell horrible. You need a bath. Good Lord, Jesus, Jesus, I'm out of here. I cannot take this no more. Y'all, let me out. Oh my good Lord, this thing is. Oh, oh get out of here, guys. Guys, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Let me out of the. Let me out of this thing. This thing is freaking me out. I don't know what's going on. Oh lordy. There you guys have it. We got 11 chicks so far. 11. I just took them out of the incubator, introduced them to the little makeshift brooder here, until I can get them into the larger brooder. Just keeping them in here to make sure that everything goes okay. Get them trained on the food, get them trained on the water, dip in their beaks. But they seem to be doing okay. So we'll be checking in every week, maybe throughout the week, a little short videos in the series of these little yard birds of mine and the meat birds. So if you guys want to see the progress of the chickens and learn how I do meat birds, you guys stay tuned. I'll see you on the next episode of Sunny Slope Homestead. See you guys.